What is up ladies and gentlemen today I'm going to basically be giving you guys some tips on how to get some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombie tips and green map the first map ever made in transit mode. Basically what you have to do is kill these zombies and there's this part that will be right there that you have to pick up. Um, I'm going to explain you guys what the blueprints are. The blueprints are where you can construct things where you have to find these parts in the in one area and one area in a different area. Everywhere you see a blueprint there's a there's parts hidden in that area or in that place that you're in. There's parts hidden in that area where you can pick them up. Right now I'm going to pick up one. I picked up one right there by the you'll basically see a big ass dress and a mannequin and you'll pick it up and basically you press the square or X button to pick it up and you go and construct something. You can only carry one part at the same time. And over by that telephone booth there's another part which you basically can pick up and it'll allow you to it'll allow you to start building the stuff. So you see where the hands start moving right there where the player starts moving its hands. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm building parts and I recommend uh, knifing the zombies for the first round and shooting them two times and then knifing them. And I recommend buying the M16 here in the map because that's basically the gun that's going to save you from a whole bunch of hassle and a whole bunch of trouble from these zombies. Um, because you'll definitely need it later on in the map. You can't just play with the pistol later on. Unless you have a team of four, you could probably play with the pistols. But if you're playing on solo, you cannot. Also, to grab... You're going to have to buy a quick revive over there by the end. Um, if you're playing solo, you're going to have to buy a quick revive because you can definitely die later on. And it's always recommended to have the quick revive in order to rebuild yourself. So there's three pieces in this room. You see where the bus depot is at? Where you saw that? There's a piece right there and it looks like a mannequin um, stand with a dress on it. So pick it up with square. And you'll see it right there. I picked it up. If you rewind the video, you'll probably see it. And also by the phone booth, you didn't, probably didn't see it, but there was one there, and you just press square or, or X if you're on 360, and you basically pick it up. There's one here by these couch, this couch right here. Um, there's there's another thing right there. It's a fan, and you basically pick up that fan and connect it as well, and you build your thing. And those are three pieces, and this is called the turbine. It's called the turbine once you build the whole thing. And that will basically what it will do. It will save you 750 points by opening these doors. I'll show you guys how do you open the door um, um, a little bit on like around four or five in this video. So basically, you can uh, if your friend doesn't want to buy that door, all you guys have to do is get those pieces in this room and then put the fan. It's a basically a fan and it gives electricity and things. And you basically put it next to that door and it'll open it. And that fan will help you. It will help you basically open the doors faster and quicker. Um, and you won't have to pay anything for the points. You just got to get the points. Also, when you're done doing the blueprints, you remember you ran out of this. You can't keep the whole thing. That's why you got to keep picking it up. I'll show you later on. And if you your friends can also get it, the turbine, if they need it, they can also get it as well to open up different doors later on. Um, he, they can get it as well. So it will definitely be helpful for you to get that later on. And there's stuff like zombie shields and everything. So right now, shoot the M16s. I recommend staying here to fourth round or fifth round. And keep uh, remember, once you leave, try to buy a lot of ammunition because you're definitely gonna need it. There's gonna be a lot of zombies that are gonna be appearing in the next few minutes um, once you get on the bus. And there's basically that's basically this is the first area. And there's only three parts here that you can find. No, there's actually four things you in almost in every area you can find a thing also you can upgrade your bus on here uh their bus can get upgraded with pieces where you have to build it on stuff and you got to find those pieces and every area there's like one piece and everything i died right here sorry my bad and it's reviving me with quick revive so basically there's there's a piece in every area for the bus there's only three pieces for the bus that can be upgraded those are it's a ladder and a train track in front of it so right here press r2 and Put your device with the D-pad and press R2 to place it on it and then pick it up again because you'll definitely need it. Right there I grabbed the bus uh, bus um, piece so definitely do the same thing again. R2 and with the D-pad up and open that door and it'll allow you to open that door and everything. And right there um, when I picked up a piece in that little room and you jump up and here where it says emergency. You jump up and press X and hold it and you'll be able to build a top. Uh, top of your bus so you can go on top of the bus 
And I recommend going on top of the bus when you have a really good weapon. I don't really recommend it when you don't have a black weapon. Or if you have a team, I recommend two friends on top and two friends on the bottom cuz it definitely will help you. It will help them shoot the other zombies. That's basically why I think they put the thing where you could go up on top of the bus, which is actually a pretty good idea for survival and zombies. If you have a M16 with a friend or anything, you can go up here while the bus is moving. The bus will n will not stop to the second area. You can get off the bus while you're going through. Or you can walk the whole way. But it's really dangerous because there's these crawlers that basically grab on you. G they latch on you and they bas you have to press R2 fast in order for them to not latch on you. Or you have to kill them somehow when you see them. And there will be a lot of zombies following you. And that thing will make you go slower and you will regret it being in that area. Because it will definitely be your doomsday right there. Also... Keep shooting the zombies and zombies. You can shoot them out the windows. If your friend's in there, you can shoot them off the windows. Also, make sure to look at your left and right. Because there's zombies trying to grab onto the bus as well right there. See? That's right there. There's zombies trying to grab on there to you. And you got to keep shooting them. You got to make be aware. And right here, I ran out of ammo. So, that was not cool. So, I had to get off the bus because so many zombies were coming. Also, right there on top of that bus, uh, if you look up in the ceiling, there's a pistol where you can buy on there. And it's pretty cheap. Like, 1,000 points and that's it. But it's kind of expensive. But, yeah. And now we're at the diner and I fell a little bit early because I was there was too many zombies. Also, right here, there's another piece where you can get your zombie shield. You see that thing in the bottom? That's a part of your zombie building. You're going to be constructing it with the blueprints over on the other side of the... Uh, another room I'll show you and I recommend buying the mp5 that was right there uh, it's like um, 700 points I think and here's the blueprints for the other side this is another room and you basically press squares X and you will be building it right there and you'll build it right there and you um, you can get a zombie shield and here's another room and this is why I said keep the turbine after it opens the door pick it up again and there should be a train uh bus pass uh a bus piece here there should be a bus piece here but it didn't appear to me because i died like twice so i think the game automatically doesn't give it to you if you don't die it'll give it to you probably in further rounds or in a different area so you have to be lucky and you'll have to be able to build it so there's the mystery box here there's a mystery box here always it almost every time it appears here for some reason i don't know why but it will almost every time appear here if you're playing solo or with teams and also there's another piece here where the second piece is in that restroom or in the other side where the car is standing in that little thingy so you press square and x again and you built there you got a zombie shield and your friend or you can pick it up anytime you want. And basically what it does, it blocks the zombies from attacking you. It completely does. For some reason it does. It's like camping. So the mystery box, I got a ray gun. And I got lucky that time. So which was actually pretty cool. And um, I got these stun grenades that you can throw. But they're not monkeys. Uh, and they also got some old weapons like the python, the crossbow. And then stuff weapons like that that came from the old Call of Duty. They got them in here. And they replaced some of the old ones as well. So right there I got the I got the new machine gun which is actually pretty good. This one right here, the type 25. It's a really good gun. I recommend getting it if you get it. And there's another um another more that shoot like 125 rounds and um more rounds. Basically like the upgraded version of the old guns of the Black Ops zombies. And so I'm in the we're going to the third area. The bus takes a little time to prepare itself to move, but it starts moving eventually once you get on the bus. And sometimes it will leave by itself, so you have to wait. The bus gives you a limited time. If you want to ride on it, you gotta. It gives you a limited time. So it takes you. This is gonna take us to the third area. And in this third area, there's another bus piece that I'm going to show you guys, where you can basically grab that piece and make you upgrade your bus again by one thing again. So that's actually pretty cool. And this is the this is the third piece. Uh, basically, those are the three areas that mainly the bus pieces be appearing. If you get lucky, if not, you're gonna have to keep trying and going to back to the same places to see if the bus thing opens the other areas. For some reason, it didn't. But there's a total of three. There's the ladders and the roof, which we already got the roof, but we don't have the ladders. And there's the train tracks that goes in front of the bus. Was is actually pretty cool because it won't allow zombies to come in front of you on the bus. So yeah, so right here you put you put the turbine again, pick it up again, and you'll find a piece right there. By the tractor, I found the I found the train tracks, <clears throat> and um, 
I didn't search any other rooms, but I already seen these rooms. And basically, what well, there's another blueprint where you can uh, make another weapon of some sort of thing over there. You gotta find the three clues, and once you find those three clues, you can um, get another um, thing as a bonus there, and like the zombie shield or the turbine and stuff. You can only carry once, so every friend I recommend carry one of each different if you guys are going to be sticking together. And sorry, I died right here. That's why I recommend getting that thingy because you can die easily if you don't have Juggernaut. Now, our, your main priority is basically turning on the power and finding Juggernaut. So, I haven't found Juggernaut, but we're going to go turn on the power so you can buy perks like Revive uh, with your team. Uh, you can buy Speed Cola. Uh, I believe Speed Cola is in the, um, close to the diner room and Double Tap is in that third area in the top of the building uh, that you will see basically. Once you play around, just do a little searching. So there's a gun also on top of this bus. There's a gun if you look up on top, you will see a gun that costs 1,000 points if you run out of ammo when you need it. Well, I recommend buying it. It's really good, but you know, after a couple of rounds, your zombies are going to start getting stronger. That's just the way it is. So yeah, so I recommend shooting out the window if you want, that's, um, it's not, you don't have to, but you can, but also I recommend two friends on the bottom and two friends on top, which will help you, um, kill a lot of zombies and it'll, it'll just keep you on the safe side. And we're going to the fourth area and this is where the power will be. This is where you'll go to turn on the power, which is actually pretty beneficial for you and your friends because the power is something that is very important and you don't see it to a whole bunch of later levels. So yeah, I explore here and there's also AK-74U in the fourth area of this map. There's an AK-74U that you can buy. And I didn't buy it because I don't need it. I got my ray gun right here and everything, but if you need an AK-74U, buy it right there. It's really good. Also, right here, the I was just exploring and everything. I was looking around, and there's this door in this little cabin, and it takes you down to the power area. And now you have to find three pieces, and there's the blueprints over there, and you got to construct it in order to uh, make that button work again. Um, so you can build your, um, you can turn on the power, and then you can get basically everything on, and it'll probably the game will probably will play better once you get everything on. So there's one right here. There's a switch right there. They appear randomly. Don't don't expect them to see in the same place every time. They always hide for some reason. Randomly and mo uh, every time you play. And you construct it and you build it and you got the first piece and there right next to it you'll ma mainly find the piece, the next piece. And you construct it and now you got two pieces. Now you just have one piece left. I had a little trouble about finding it, but I found it eventually in this map. Sorry if it takes a little time, but like yeah, I found it. Uh, you gotta find it because they really do appear randomly. It could appear right here. It could appear in that room or it could take a little time to appear until the next round. For some reason, I don't know why, but I guess they did it uh, on purpose or not. And I, I don't remember where it really appeared. It appeared by one of these boxes. I believe that, yeah, I passed it. The box right there was it. But my dumb ass comes back. But uh, I'll get the piece. Sorry, sorry if cause I did this. But, like, you have to find it. It does appear randomly because I already went to the power room twice already. And it does appear randomly. And also right there is, a, like, a garage door where you'll open up once you turn on the power. And that will be your escape of that room. And you don't have to stay in the power room if you don't want to. But if you want to stay there, you can stay there. And I think, I believe this will be a definitely a good place to hide with zombies and going in circles. Um. So, yeah. Once you get everything, though. Well, but right now we just begun. This is turning on the power. That's not even far away or any remotely close to the next thing we have to do. So, yeah, you will you will turn on uh I'm going to find the piece right now. I believe it's over there. Over there by those boxes on the right of me. Sorry I didn't do good for that not finding the boxes cuz I was like this is like first time, but I found the way to turn on the power. All right there right there right there right there i just didn't see it right there right there yeah there's the piece um that's the patch for it so in order to turn the power and that those are the third piece those are the three pieces you need in order to turn on the power um that's all, all you will need to turn on the power so i got a nuke and now what i'm gonna basically do is um construct my third piece and that will let me turn on the power sorry i pressed pause there um uh, press X or square on PlayStation 3 
and you'll be building it and turn on the power. Now you, voila, you got the power. Uh, the power it takes a little time to get to it because there's a lot of stuff in this map that you could do. There's probably be Easter eggs that will like I will be trying to find. And now you just wait for a little bit. You can see that cool effect where it turns on the power, and this door will be opening and soon in a little bit in the as you keep on watching and progressing, it will be opening. So yeah, the power turns on. And that's basically uh, what you're gonna see in this first video. And I'm gonna show you a little more. I'm gonna make a part two of this video. But there's a there's a little more things that I wanna show you guys right here. Once you get out of this room, um there's a there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a there's another blueprint where you have to find three pieces. I only find like two pieces in this area. Uh, I will show you guys where I found two pieces, and then I then I died because uh, I'm not I don't really know these maps really well because they're really big. I have still I'm still learning to know them, but I'm pretty much getting them now. And there's two pieces. I believe there's one down here. There's one down here. And they never, if you like, if you did something wrong, they will not appear for some reason. For some reason, this game acts like a bitch when turning on the power and stuff like that. When finding pieces for train, for the bus, everything. I don't know why it does that, but like, it does. Um, guys, this is pretty much it. I started killing zombies everywhere. So, you know, to be your zombie survivor, uh, have a team. Um, get quick revive. Try to get all your perks like Speed Cola, Juggernaut. I recommend getting Juggernaut first. And that's basically the stuff you got to do and turn on the power. I showed you guys how to turn on the power. Then you just keep on going and going and finding different stuff. Keep going through the rounds and surviving to see if you can, like, find everything because right now this game is sort of like a little bit different from your old experience you have to find stuff in order to get upgrades now it's a little bit harder it's not just buying every door and then go and turn on the power now uh, you gotta buy, find pieces for stuff and if you want extra shields and stuff extra stuff you gotta find the pieces and it's recommended to find these pieces because the zombies have gotten a harder they're not the same anymore, but with four players, it is good and easy. It'll probably be more easier for you with four players, but it, it did get a little bit harder. And plus, there'll be a lot of swarms of zombies coming in with four players. And I'm just playing with one, and that's why I don't have a lot of swarms, and it gets it takes time to get harder. And, you know, yeah, and there's uh, going to be more pieces here, but... I will be making a part two for this video after I pass this area because I don't go ahead of this, so... Um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a, this video a like and a, a favorite if you would like because I'll be making more tips for zombies and multiplayers on my channel of Call of Duty coverage and everything you need to know in order to find it. I will be doing Easter eggs as well once I find them all. Alright guys, thanks for watching and please have a nice day. And thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so I'll do more videos and thanks. Thanks for watching once again. Alright. Leave in the comment section what do you want to know and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Thanks. And goodbye.